Hey dudes, I guess the thing that I need to do now is installing a remote desktop tool to connect to my remote gentle machine where I installed my uh, in case you needed to follow me in this tutorial in order to know how to do so uh, the first thing is to run the command sudo emerge x to go server I always like to specify the, fl uh, the arguments VA or AV to get more verbose output and to uh, confirm before I eventually decide to install the package okay I guess nothing much here to discuss especially about the use flags since our package doesn't have so many of them uh, you can enable postgres use flag if you want otherwise I'm okay with the use flags that are chosen so let's press Y here and enter so the installation is done here it says that we need to run this command x to go db admin this command as root so we run it like this okay and then I guess that's it for this you definitely need a client uh, soft piece of software and it's x to go client it exists on almost any distros repo official repository for example I'm using here uh, tumbleweed uh, before that you need to know what is the IP address of your server by running the command IPA in my case is this one okay so let's try new session you call it the way you like the host you put your IP address there in my case it's like this uh, it uses the SSH port I guess here you can put the username and then you choose here the desktop environment in my case it was Mate as in the video that I'm gonna put in the cards for you you choose it here in case it's something different you choose it you have many options here like EDE, GNOME LXDE, uh, LXQ, XFCE, etc. You use or you choose the one that's available on your server. You can choose a, diff a different one in case you have more than one. Okay, so let's click OK here. Here is my uh, connection. You click on it uh, twice and then the password of the user that is chosen already in my case it's techni okay all right it failed already so i enabled the module which is uh, fuse grab fuse that's suggested by arch wiki and then i went to uh, the ssh config and then sshd config and I enabled the export forwarding as you can see here that's what the archwiki says so let's try to connect again uh, I forgot to tell you that if you changed your ssh port since x2go uses it you need to change it here since I didn't I kept it the default one so let's try again hoping that it works this time uh, choose my desktop environment which is Mate click OK here
you can change the display settings but before that I need to make sure that this works I guess there is a mistake in the password this should be the same password as the login one delete session yes exit new session Take this. Okay. Let me check if I have a uh, debus running. Debus, yes, it is running as you see here. So I guess there may be a problem with the client itself. So I keep failing to connect to my X2Go server on my Gento machine and when I take a look at the official documentation of the installation of X2Go they say that I need to disable the use flag HPN for OpenSSH uh, I believe that use such use flag doesn't exist but we will try we can disable it by going to portage slash etc slash portage slash package dot use as a file or package dot use slash any file and add the this line okay so let's go uh, open ssh password and paste this one exit after saving and then we need to Reemerge or reinstall open SSH. We I will uh, make sure I get the confirmation so I can see the changes after disabling such use flag because I try to see the use flags for open SSH and I've seen none of that so yeah it doesn't mention it. Let's press Y and enter here it's updating it's gonna update the package so I believe I'm doing the update of the system here and I don't know it's supposed to be there uh, the next command suggested after uh, reinstalling OpenSSH with the disabled use flag which I don't find myself here I reinstalled the OpenSSH package the next command is to update the uh, configuration files by running the command dispatch conf so next next yes this one so use the new one and then we restart the ssh daemon so it should be by running the command service sshd restart like this all I'm doing all of this although I found no use flag HPN Let's to go client yeah it fails As you saw, I keep I keep failing to connect to my X2Go server on my Gento machine. 
uh, and I'm gonna try for the last time with this potential solution which is by trying another version of X2Go if I try to emerge X2Go which I uh, removed due to frustration and thought of never trying again to be honest I'm gonna try for the last time maybe it works for me and this doesn't mean it will not work for you it may work for you because I believe I may have some problems with my system I'm recovering my system from uh, an issue that destroyed a part of it and that may be the reason for this not to work for me you should yourself try to install it and it may work as you've seen I tried to disable the use flag HPN for OpenSSH and it didn't work and it doesn't even exist so here I'm gonna try with a different version which is something like 4.1.0.6 uh, I remember before my X2Go server worked on Gen2 before I had the disaster that I had on the system that destroyed a part of it so it caused me to reinstall most of the package and that was something good so I can uh, demonstrate that in front of you so let's go to accept keywords in slash etc slash slash portage slash package package dot accept keywords and let's make some file here call it the way we like x2 go server like this and then like this x2 go server in one word save and exit now let's try to install x2 go server again so I tried to install the, the X2Go server before and connect to it on my Gento machine and it worked successfully without all the struggle that I needed to face here in this video. Not really a struggle but some kind of in order to get it working. So let's try again. Let's run this one. Sudo. Okay. And then... password authentication this can be the reason who knows sudo nano this file and then let's look for password not this one uh, password authentication and then we need to enable it like this save and exit and then rc service sshd restart okay clear uh, let's check again our file this one cut grab pass word no problem with sudo yeah password authentication is enabled all right now let's jump into uh, my uh, client here next to go client this one over here same thing who knows it works now just select new here or whatever yeah it fails okay so I tried some of the potential ways to get this working it didn't work unfortunately it may work for you I guess that's it uh, please consider subscribing uh, hit thumbs up if you think it's worth it comment with what you think is the reason for this failure in this video and share with your friends thank you for watching and